Welcome back to my channel where I let you peek into my autistic brain and watch it work. Normally when I go through my Quora digest, my wife ends up getting a lot of screenshots and links from me, which strikes me as the ideal kind of thing to put on my channel. So here we go. Okay. Uh, this first one is the Democrats are a minority in the House, so why are they allowed to vote on anything? Uh, William Weir replies, well, agreed. And since Trump supporters are a minority in the U.S., they shouldn't be allowed to vote on anything either. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, here's uh, one I've seen actually multiple times. It's interesting how often this gets asked, which is, why aren't the Amish criticized by liberals despite being hyper-conservative while Catholics and evangelicals are heavily attacked? I definitely would argue with the word attacked here. Um... Anyway, uh, Dan replies that uh, he hung out with some Amish some time ago on a tourist tour <laughs> who'd stopped at a Five Guys restaurant. <laughs> they were great until they hit one of those newfangled Coke machines that they couldn't figure out how to work. <laughs> they didn't try to convert him. They didn't put him down for anything, didn't yell at him for anything. In other words, they acted nothing whatsoever like conservatives as you probably identify them. Oh. And that tends to be the response to these kinds of questions is, the difference between you and the Amish is the Amish aren't trying to convert me. But who has no understanding of what atheism is. He says, will an atheist please provide a crisp and direct argument for why atheism is better and I should pursue it and thereby earn respect? It's... I... I don't know. That's too stupid a question to even try to compose an answer for. Wow. Okay, here's somebody who's uh, stuck in the 19th century. When it comes to allowing people in the U.S. to vote, why don't Democrats believe in, quote, quality rather than quantity? Uh, because there's no objective way to define quality? It turns out that in places where they try anyway, they invariably, sooner or later, define it as whoever votes for whoever's currently in power. It's not what he said, but that's basically what he means. Which is exactly what they were trying to do in uh, Jan 6. In the U.S., Republicans are currently the whoever votes for us stage. But some are already quite openly advocating for the next Republican ruler and no one else. And yeah, I definitely see that way too much. It's kind of terrifying, actually. Oh, another clueless idiot. <laughs> What's that? Texas has the highest number of teen pregnancies, so why are they worried about drag queens? <laughs> the hell does A have to do with B? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> drag queens, by and large, are gay, so they're generally not going around fathering babies by teen girls. <laughs> or any other females. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh... Why can't atheists accept that children should be taught about God in school so they're free to choose whether or not to believe, rather than enforcing indoctrination through ignorance? Wow. There's somebody who has things completely backwards. It's those of us who were indoctrinated that are rebelling Why people? part of why people are fleeing the church. The other is idiots like this one. Oof. Well, Adam Reisman is, uh, if I still prayed, someone I'd be praying for. Question was, what are you thinking about some people blaming the LGBT community for all the problems in the world? And his Adam Reisman's reply, well, in addition to being gay, I'm also Jewish, so I've been blamed for everything since I was old enough to understand language. My only thought is, will it ever end? Uh, we can only hope. Hope. And this is a, a, just a blatant lie I keep seeing. Do you realize that most mass shooters are liberals in liberal cities? 
Um, no, they're not. Most of them are conservatives. <laughs> wow. What would happen if a trans person got into a debate with a renowned psychologist about the legitimacy of gender identity? Well, they probably agree on most of it. Because <laughs> the science is pretty clear on legitimacy of trans. How do Democrats justify support for a union that wants to be paid 40% more, but works 20% less? Do they really believe that's reasonable? Wow, that is just... What? He's got to be misrepresenting something, something, because that doesn't make any sense. Although that is true that my disability is going up again by 3% next year. It goes up almost every year. I think there's only been, you know, I've been uh, on disability since 2006. In the past 17 years, it's only been once or twice that I didn't get a cost of living increase. And yet, we've had the same minimum wage that whole time. So, if I deserve an increase in income for not being able to work, then people who are actually able to work sure as hell deserve one. It's just nonsensical to think otherwise I <laughs> why is Trump blaming the war in Israel on his losing the rigged election is he nuts <laughs> it's, uh, it's Amy Wynn is someone whose replies I see frequently but said it's it took this to make you see that Trump was nuts where have you been for the last seven years <laughs> <laughs> Do trans people actually freak out when accidentally misgendered, or is it just a stereotype? See, now there's an important word there, which is accidentally. Um, I've never been around when anyone accidentally misgendered our friend Robin, so I don't know how she would react. But, again, this is accidentally. You accidentally use someone's wrong pronoun, they correct you, you might apologize, depending how egregious and then you use the correct pronoun and get on with your life it's really not difficult when you intentionally use the wrong pronouns constantly out of someone just out of ignorance or spite well that just makes you an asshole it's <laughs> that's really all there is to it why do people take gender roles more seriously than actual biological gender um, huh? Biology is way more important than gender roles. In fact, gender roles have gone the way of the dodo for the most part. Except for the far-right idiots who try to insist that women should be barefoot pregnant in the kitchen. Um, gender roles just really aren't a thing anymore. And, well, in this country, there are Countries where women are still treated as second-class citizens. <laughs> it's uh, Franklin... I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but last name I'm going to say Vo. Replies. <laughs> Actual biological sex almost never matters. Unless whatever you're doing requires physical possession of a penis or a vagina, it's irrelevant. <laughs> Which is succinct. And yes... Oh, yes. Uh, I want to do a series of me reading bedtime stories, some I've written, some Dr. Seuss, whatever else I can find, and posting those as videos for, since we've decided not to have kids of our own, I won't have them to read to, so I'm going to read to everybody else's kids. And the Sneetches is uh, one I definitely need to remember to add to my list of ones to do. <laughs> what? Wow. Can gay men circumvent gay marriage bans if one of them becomes a woman? Again, that's not even worth trying to formulate an answer to. The squad 
from the Democratic Party support Hamas? Uh, picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> Where the hell did they say that? Wow. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, Joyce Wright responding. Like, there's a big difference between sympathizing with the Palestinian people and supporting Hamas. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Palestinians are victims of both sides of this stupid war. <laughs> well, this is a new one. Atheists, did you know that when they drilled a well, a really deep well in Russia, they heard wild screams and wails from beneath? And then there were even wilder inhuman sounds? How do you explain this? I think those were the sounds of hell. Um, I think you need... I mean, I'm not joking here. Seriously, I think you need psychological help. You should go find a therapist. Mine helped me a lot. And just don't be embarrassed about needing mental health care. It's, it's extremely important. Um, go. Get help. Why do Republicans think elections no longer work? Because they've been conned. The only consistent voter fraud we found was done by Republicans. Just look at North Carolina's District 9. That was a mess in 2018, apparently. Yeah, that was a, that was a fiasco with Republicans actually collecting voter uh, mail-in ballots from people and then not submitting them. I mean, you, you can't get more blatant than that. And again, those were Republicans doing that, not Democrats or us independents. Why does the left deny the existence of cancel culture? Why does the right insist on believing that America has a left? The vast majority of us are centrist. There's like three leftist people in this country. One of them is Forrest Valkai, who's a science teacher and... A YouTube atheist who's actually really good. You should go watch some of his videos, regardless of whether or not you're an atheist, but because he's a science teacher and he's pretty good at it. Well, that seems to be pretty well through my digest so i'll wrap it up and as always thanks and i will see you next time